hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Michelle Renee um, I do create beauty lifestyle and vlogs here on my channel if you are new feel free to stick around girl hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified when I do upload a video if you are a returning viewer hey girl hey welcome back <laughs> I hope you guys are well. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Um, so hopefully by the time you guys watch this video, I will have my second trimester recap up. Um, today I will be filming my what's in my hospital bag as well as what's in baby's bag um, video today for you guys. Um, I'm doing this a little bit early. Um, today I'm actually 34 weeks, maybe early for some, maybe not too early, but I wanted to go ahead and get it out the way because y'all, a couple of days ago, even yesterday, I was having some contractions. I was like, ooh, let me go ahead and pack my bag. This was earlier in the week. I'm like, let me go ahead and throw some stuff in the bag. I have a list. Let me put everything in the bag just in case. Um, but yeah, today is Sunday. Um, I had a photo shoot today, a maternal, maternity photo shoot with just me and baby in the belly. Um, my husband and I did our maternity shoot. It was either last month. Yeah, it, I think it was the end of last month or the middle of last month. I already got those pictures back and everything. And today we just did our baby and I, baby P. <laughs> um, we just did a photo shoot today, which... I can't wait to get the pictures back to see how those turned out. But yeah, I was like, let me go ahead and um, film this video for you guys. I don't know if you guys can even see the bag. So this is baby's bag and this is my bag. Um, yeah, y'all, I've been watching these what's in my hospital bag videos and sometimes I just sit and roll my eyes like girl you don't need that you don't need that you know you don't need that but I've come to realize that everybody's different everybody's thought process everybody's situation is different so it's okay to be a little extra I know that I can be a little extra when it comes to a lot of things per my husband <laughs> and I can admit that I can be a little bit extra but this is my third child this is our fifth child combined we are a bonus family a bonus family a blended family um but this however will be my husband and husband and i's first child um i will put in the card sections my little pregnancy not journey but i'll put in there um the video where i'm telling my husband i did have a miscarriage prior to this pregnancy um and i had started to record me telling my husband that i'm pregnant with that baby and then unfortunately, you know, I lost it. And then you guys got to watch that video for yourselves. Um, I also have a um, video of baby uh, announcement, um, gender reveal prep, as well as gender reveal video, as well as my first trimester recap. If you're interested in watching it, I know there are a lot of first time or either first time mommies or mommies who are pregnant again um and things are different i know this pregnancy is definitely different from my other pregnancies as i'm sure it's it is for what other women like no pre no two pregnancies are the same no two pregnancies are the same so i just wanted to uh you know if you guys are interested i will put it in the card section below up top and in the description box for you guys i am in the nursery right now um it's completed i got some stuff laying around because we did have a baby sprinkle on yesterday um everybody showed up and showed out i wasn't or we were not expecting um as many gifts i mean we really didn't ask for anything we just said if you wanted to bring a gift um you can bring diapers and wipes diapers or wipes and a book or or a book um if you want us to bring something i mean we feel like we are you know pretty blessed um but everybody showed out we're so grateful and overfilled with joy <laughs> you know we're so grateful and so blessed but i want to get into this video don't want it to be too long um i need to pay attention because i haven't used my camera in a while and it'd be low-key shutting off but I'm going to start off with the baby bag. And the reason I am bringing a, ba a baby bag 
is because um I want to keep as much room in my bag as I can because y'all I am taking everything in a hospital room that our insurance has paid for that includes diapers wipes everything that I can take <laughs> and it can fit in my bag plus an extra bag that I'm taking of just like an empty I don't know if y'all can see that little bag right there so I have another one of those from motherhood maternity when you order something that is something that they send you so I'm going to take both of those so we can put the diapers and the wipes anything in the hospital that you know I know that they didn't charge us for we will be taking but yeah I want to make sure I have enough room in here which is why baby girl has her own little bag <sighs> just some details about the bag if you are interested I had went back and forth I purchased a I can't remember the name of that bag but it was huge it was a book bag as well but it was it was big and I'm gonna be a breastfeeding baby and we I personally think we would need as much things in a diaper bag as a mommy that is formula feeding her baby only because you have the formula the bottles you know and extra stuff and we're not um, I don't think I would need that much so I just went with this bag and this is the itsy ritzy mini backpack diaper bag in leather um, purchased from bye bye baby was about $80 a little expensive but I'm a little bit extra so that's okay <laughs> um, I did add these extra charms on there I got this from Essie has her initials on there this little charm I think I had for a while was on my purse I got from H&M and then this little charm on here is from Hobby Lobby and it just says love and it's like in a leopard print. Um, I don't have much in here. Like I don't have like diapers or anything because this is a bag that we're taking to the hospital. And um, we just don't need diapers right now or anything. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. Disclaimer. Um, you guys going to see some stuff. <laughs> the tags are still on it. Um, I have not washed anything because we'll talk about that in my third trimester. Uh, just, <laughs> we'll talk about it in my third trimester. I just got a little, a, a few problems, a little, few issues that I'm working with. So, um, just know that this stuff is still in this packaging. Tags are included. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so we're taking a, um, a blanket. This is a Muslim swaddle in this packaging um i don't know if they give you i can't remember uh i don't think you're supposed to take the blankets y'all know them hospital blankets that be like rough but the baby ain't busting out of the blanket <laughs> but i don't think you're supposed to take those home but um i am bringing that i have on my list because i do have a list as well um for her um i think i, I put socks hat and mittens I may take a pair of socks only because I know when baby's born, they do put the baby in a t-shirt. I don't know if they have socks at the hospital. I don't know, but I'll probably take a pair of socks, mitten, a pair of mittens, and a hat, maybe. Um, so, if y'all follow me on my Instagram, you will see that your girl is big. My belly is big. I've been told that baby, well... She gonna be a big baby. <laughs> but um, I purchased this outfit from Spearmint Love. This is her going home outfit. And I fell in love with it because they showed up on my Instagram. And, and I bought it. It is so cute. But it's in a newborn. Y'all see how tiny that is? Hopefully you guys can see because I have on a pink sweater. But it's so cute. It has a little ruffles in the back. And it is zippered. Easy to put baby in and baby out. And my daughter, my oldest daughter, was talking about me. She was like, Mom, that's a big baby. She's not going to be able to fit that. You need to go back to the drawing board. <laughs> um, so I had that. <laughs> so I was like, okay, maybe you're right. But it did come with the headband. I'm going to take it just in case. You know, we're wrong that she's going to be a chunker. I'm going to take it just in case. But I did purchase another one. Uh, same company, different color. And as you can see, it definitely is a little bit bigger. Um, it's in this snow white color, same design, same one, just different color and a bit bigger. So, and it's like in a waffle. I'll link it below if you're interested. Um, and it did come with the little headband as well. Um, that is 
her coming home outfit um i also have another outfit just just a half she not may not be able to wear it in the hospital or have an opportunity to wear it depending on excuse me how long they have us in there but um i have this little outfit from a company called kate quinn it's a little kimono onesie so cute and with that um i purchased the matching headband these are so soft they're made of that um that bamboo material and it has a little cute headband to go with it as well as these cute little booties these were all purchased separately but i love the company the company um i think i bought another outfit in a different color with the headband and the but i think it's short sleeve but that one's long sleeve so we have that and then also last but not least uh, i won't open this up but in here it just has a a little blanket y'all this thing is heating up already <laughs> it has her blanket um that has her name her uh wooden board that has her name that you can put her um that i can put her weight her date of birth um y'all we might turn off but it has you can fill out her information and put it on there but i'm not going to show it because you know um her name hasn't been released yet <laughs> um then lastly to go with this i'm watching the camera y'all uh oh to go with this um she'll be wearing this bow and swaddle you probably can't see it because it's white but that's what it looks like hold on y'all this camera turn off so that will be her little pictures that she takes so cute isn't it um but yeah that's all that i have in her bag i'm not taking any pacifiers with me i may take a pacifier i don't know we'll see but um that's all that i have in her diaper bag um i probably will add a pack of a pair of socks mittens and hat for her um but yeah that's what i'm taking for her um as i was saying i don't know if i said it already but you know i've been watching these videos and um you know i see us being a little bit extra when it comes to uh taking stuff to the hospital i know for me i'm not bringing any postpartum items because they do provide that um at my hospital they may not provide it for yours so that's why i had to take a step back and think like maybe their hospital won't provide it but um a lot of hospitals do provide you with your pads um your tux your domerplast your 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 water bottle your peri bottle um, they do provide that. I know I did purchase the Freedom Mom Perry bottle for myself. So I'm I'm going to take that one because um, I am familiar with the regular Perry bottle that the hospital gives you. And it's not that convenient when it comes to cleaning down there. The angle, there's no angle to it versus the Freedom Mom one does have an angle. I don't know what, where my basket is at. It may be in the closet. So I will be taking that, but the pads um i got the honey pot maternity pads or postpartum pads the soap um that is staying home because like, like i said before the hospital you know provides at least my hospital does and my insurance is paying for that stuff so i'm gonna use it especially while i'm there um yeah that's all i got to say <laughs> with that um and then just also thinking back on my past births um my last child we were in the hospital for 24 hours that's it i took i wore the outfit that i don't know if i had a change of outfits um for myself i may have took it i think i did take an extra outfit with some underwear to wear home I had a diaper bag for her. I think I only had one bag and I put um, her stuff, my stuff in her bag. I didn't bring any, I may have brought a toothbrush or toothpaste. I don't know. I didn't take a shower there. I so said they sent us home the next day. So I came home and did all that. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I pretty much, you know, I know. I may think this time I may be a little bit extra 
when it comes to stuff and I think I'm going to be a little bit extra this time around is because in my birth plan if it goes um if it goes as planned y'all my foot is falling asleep <laughs> if it goes as planned I do plan um on having a natural birth so I do want to be uh a little bit you know more comfortable um if I can um I want to be a little bit more comfortable. I just saw my daughter pull up. But I want to be more comfortable. So that's why this stuff in here may be a little bit extra. So I do have a copy of my birth plan here from the hospital that my doctor gave me. I have my baby book so they can put her footprints in here. Um, I do have a, I guess, you know, after, after birth swaddle and robe for myself and baby we'll be taking that and then i also have a a fan um that i can tie to tie to uh put on the railing of the bed for me that's on one side <laughs> um on the other side um i have a belly band um, this is for afterbirth, not to get snatched back, but just to hold everything in. Um, I will link it, uh, for you guys. It's just black. I bought it from Amazon. Um, so we're going to try that out this time around. Um, I also have a nursing bra in here. Tag still attached. <laughs> I want to say this is from Bye Bye Baby. I will be, I've been really wearing nothing but nursing bras. I think I have a regular bra on today, but I have that. I have my going home outfit, which is a pair of black jogger pants um, and a big comfy sweater that says mama. Just to, you know, to wear home. I also have a hospital gown. I will be wearing my own hospital gown. That came from this is from Kindred Braverly. Um, and it does open, it opens in the front and the back. Um, so instead of wearing a hospital gown, I can wear the one that I have. And yes, again, the tags are still attached. My daughter's home and Chloe's about to fly off the couch, y'all. What you doing? Oh, Filming. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> All right, you in the bag. Yeah. I also have in the bag. The hospital provides you socks, but I just wanted to bring some extra socks because my feet get cold. Some little fuzzy slippers, and they do have a wine glass on there, but it also have coffee. One side says PM. One side says AM. I also have a phone charger i brought two of these these are the six foot ten foot chargers um i have one my husband has one be taking that and then also i have um, a sound machine which i hear is perfect for taking to the hospital because the nurses are in and out of the room and um, you want to be able to sleep or you want your baby to be able to sleep and then i also have some Y'all have a phobia. My daughter's probably going to laugh at me. But I don't know if y'all go to the water park. But we go to the water park and it, it, it really, it really just like makes me nauseous when I see people go barefoot into the public bathroom at the water park. Like, ugh. <laughs> but I guess that would be the same way at the hospital. Like, ugh, even though it may be a little bit cleaner. I did get some shower shoes just to wear. I mean, I don't know. Like, they can be like, yeah, you bleeding. You can be like, ah, wait, wait, wait. Right. Put, <laughs> put my shoes on. <laughs> but uh, I did get these, um, those shoes, little shower shoes to take with me. And then um, just to read out some things that are not in the hospital bag. Um, I have face towels and dry towels for my husband and I. If we decide to take a shower, I'm not sure I didn't take a shower. 
I think I took a shower with my oldest daughter when we were in the hospital. I think I took a shower. I just used the hospital stuff. Um, and I know my husband be perfectly fine with using hospital stuff, but I'm just a little bit extra. I don't know. I put on here two pillows and a blanket, as I stated. You know, the hospital gives you a pillow and a blanket, but it be cold in there. So, uh, and I, of course, I want my husband to be comfortable. So, we'll take a blanket for him and a pillow. Um, I also got the car seat that we'll be taking. Um, my toiletries, which I don't have right now. And y'all, don't, you don't have to go out and buy um, little travel size stuff. Get you some reusable bottles from the Dollar Tree and your stuff at home. Just fill it up in those bottles. Because sometimes I be watching this stuff like, girl, you ain't need that $2.99 uh, travel size bottle because your big size costs $3. Might as well get you a dollar pack of travel size and just fill that stuff up. That's just my opinion, but that's what I did. Um, we have that. We're going to take our toothbrush and toothpaste, of course. Now, I put on here makeup. I don't know, y'all. I may take some powder just so when the baby come out, I won't scare her. <laughs> but, you know, just, you know, if we have the time, if, um, I know that some women do take their makeup if they're induced because they have that time where they're going through that process to dilate. They have a little bit more time. You know, I, I plan... My, my plan is to labor at home as long as I can. So maybe while I'm at home to give me something to do, maybe I'll put a little makeup on. But I did have that on here. Um, also, my camera. I got my SD cards for the camera, chargers for the phone, and the computer. And I'm also taking my computer, maybe. And the reason I may be taking that, just in case my husband wants to watch movies, hopefully my daughter will be able to come. Because I looked and they ain't, haven't even updated their thing yet. <laughs> but um yeah we'll be taking i'll take my laptop just in case i put bluetooth speaker but i don't know about that i'll just try to listen to everything from my phone and then i put my ear pods but i may just bring the headphones with the wire because if i'm up and down in the bed i'd be damned if i lose my ear pods uh and i plan on listening to hypno birthing so i have that um let's see Pajamas. I don't have pajamas in here, but um, after I shower, like I said, depending on how long we're in the hospital, you know, I want to be comfortable in my own pajamas. So I may just throw a gown in there. I also got um, Uno Monopoly card game. Maybe we'll see um, just to, you know, speed up, time, not speed up time, but help time pass by. Just a game for us to play. And then, what else? That's it. Like I said, everything else, the afterbirth care, all the stuff that I purchased is staying at home. And I'm definitely going to be using the hospital stuff. And take... All right, y'all. I don't know where I the camera shut off at. This camera tends to shut off when it gets overheated. But as I was saying, yeah, I did get those slippers, um, you know, just in case uh, I decide to take a shower there. And then I kind of, I think maybe I rushed through the section when I was talking about the fan. But yeah, I got this fan from Amazon. It's like a desk fan, but um, it has the posable feet. So I can wrap it around the bed just in case, the hospital bed, just in case I get hot. So um, it has a USB plug, so I don't have to worry about, you know, batteries or anything. Um, yeah, and it has three different speeds on there, so... I'm excited about that and then um I said I don't know where the camera cut off at but yeah this is a after birth you know um when we get to the mo mother baby unit um baby girl and I can put on our matching uh swaddles well she has a it's a blanket for her and a robe for me um that we can take and um i think that was it y'all um that i will be taking um so i stated you know as i was saying like it's okay if you want to be a little bit extra when it comes to taking stuff to the hospital because you know everybody's situation is different especially the times they were in you may not be able to leave the hospital for a while you know if there's complications you don't want to be at the hospital with 
you know, just your baby stuff. You know, if you want, take your makeup, you know, just to make you feel good. And I know after birth, um, us women, we, we may not feel our best. And just putting on a little makeup, taking a shower, combing our hair will make us feel good. I don't plan on washing my hair at the hospital or anything. So I don't need a blow dryer or fly iron or anything like that. I actually plan on getting braids um, that week. Um, if God's will, <laughs> I'll be able to get braids before I give birth. Um, but yeah, that's my hospital bag and baby's hospital bag. Uh, my husband, he's, you know, a little bit more minimal than myself. So, you know, he'll take what he needs, whether it be, you know, underwear, um, toothbrush, um, deodorant and stuff like that. Um, I think I wrote toiletries. Yeah, toiletries on there. So that stuff is already packed. I just left it in my room. I just need to throw that in here. Um, and I want to say that's it. You know, I'm not taking any diapers. They're going to provide that. Um, I don't need any bottles because I do plan on breastfeeding. And as far as, again, the postpartum items, I do plan on using everything that the hospital has for me. The um, underwear, the pads, the peri spray, the tux, the peri spray, the dermaplast, the tux pads. Um, I plan on using their stuff because, y'all, we are paying for it. So make sure as well you take your empty bags. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but I have right there. Let me zoom in. Hold on. That bag right there. They put them in my motherhood maternity order and I have another one. So I'm going to fold up those and put them in my bag as well. Um, so we can take home the diapers and everything that they have at the hospital that again, you pay for. So girl, take it home with you. <laughs> Um, but yeah, at this point I am rambling. That is about it on what I'll be taking to the hospital for myself as well as, uh, baby girl P and that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You can, you know, stay tuned for a nursery tour. Uh, and that is it. So thank you so much for your time. Love you all. Talk to you later.